guys, uh, welcome back. This is uh, episode 19 uh, uh, collection update. It's going to be a short video, just a, a few albums to show you. There's a few uh, new releases come out Friday, so I just want to show you them. Uh, it's okay, so let's just start it. As I said, I've got eight vinyls to show you. Um, I'll do them quickly. So uh, first up, I have uh, Screamer, uh, Swedish heavy metal band. Uh, this is, uh, I think it's a 2019 release. I think it's the fourth album. Uh, I'm assuming these are part of the new wave of traditional heavy metal and um, this is awesome really love this album I don't know where I got this I've seen this maybe it was on well, somebody else's channel Andy's or somebody but uh, yeah so pick this up this is on the sign records don't know them obviously so cool in our sleeve a picture of the band um, uh, nine tracks with an intro as well and um, but a uh, fantastic fantastic album uh, it's just great good good heavy metal yeah, brilliant vocalist. I don't know what the vocalist's name is Andreas Wilkström. Sorry, I'm just gonna stop out for a second. The old specs on. Very can't see shit without them, obviously. Those. So uh, yeah, yeah, was the same. Highway of Heroes, four thousand by Screamer. Definitely worth checking out if you haven't heard them. So uh, yeah, that was a good start. Okay, up next. Okay, this is an album that was. Um, uh, in, uh, in, this is a band that was introduced to me last year by a mate of mine. Uh, listened to the album, thought it was great. Uh, just let it go for a while, hoping to reduce the price on you. And it was. So, this is by a uh, UK band, uh, Green Lung. This is a uh, Woodland Rights 2019 release. This guy's have, uh, have a new album coming out now. I think it's in October. It's on pre order. Nice gatefold. But the album work, album cover is just one, it's one of the nicest album covers I've ever, I've ever seen. I think it's amazing. It's put you in the mind of a uh, midsummer wicker man, that sort of vibes. Um, as for Green Lung, these are um, described as a lot of kind of different genres. It's very 19, very 70s style, bit of doom in it. So just there's some parts of it that sound very Black Sabbathy. Um, so um, yeah, but excellent. The production on this record is is what makes it. It's that sort of an album that needs amazing production, and thankfully it has. Um, let me see what record label this is on but uh, yeah this is a fantastic album if you haven't listened to it so atmospheric uh, musicianship is amazing on it uh, just a brilliant band uh, it's on black vinyl as well uh, woodland rights i'm just trying to see if, what record label is this on um don't actually see i mean i don't want to dwell too much on it but it is fantastic uh, album um, also comes with nothing very good here. It also comes with a bit of a booklet inside, which is awesome. The, the amount of effort gone into this is, is just amazing. So we've got a cool lyric sheet there, picture of the band again there. Uh, this sorry, it's on Spark Records, S V A R T Spark Records. But uh, that's the band. These guys hopefully are going to be playing Ireland soon with Candlemas, and uh, hopefully we get to see them because uh, this is fantastic. This is. An amazing album. I was so glad to pick that up. Uh, so yeah, that was a uh, Green Lung Woodland Rights. Great. Okay. Next up, this is what the the idea behind doing the video was. I was excited. Uh, I don't know if, as you can hear in the background, we were listening to a bit of Sabotage as we do a lot. But only a Sabotage re-released on Friday the twentieth. These are already Friday the twentieth. Their first two releases from 1983. They released uh, reissued um, Sirens, and then from 1984. Well, the material was written in 1983, but it was released in 1984. It's uh, the Dungeons of Colin. So uh, first up is the reissue of the amazing debut album by Sabotage, Sirens. Absolutely love this album. I'm sure most people do that know it. Uh, it comes in a nice gatefold with a good bit of, bit of history about the band. Kind of an interview with John Oliver as well. Um, also comes with... Uh, a nice inner sleeve, the old Sabotage logo on it, and the lyrics. Uh, not, no extra tracks on this, but it's just been remastered, and it's on Air Music Classics. Quality of this, lads, is fantastic. So if you, if you haven't got this on vinyl, but what have you been? It's worth buying the reissue again, because it's just fantastic. Quality of it's amazing. Um, I do like the old, or the other cover, with the little elfin people or whatever you want to call them on it but uh, I don't know I believe this is the original 
planned artwork. I'm not sure if somebody could let me know in the comments. I'm not 100% sure about that. But uh, definitely, guys, pick up that Sabotage before it's gone. They are reissuing um, all the whole back catalogue of Sabotage right up to uh, Poets and Mad Men, I think. So there'll be instant purchases as soon as they become available for pre order. So, uh, yeah, as I was saying, the second one to be re released was The Dungeons of Colin EP. Um, as I said, all these songs were written at the same time of uh, the sirens. Looks the same inside, just red. And the interviews again, the back to the backstory to the album. Um, inside this one, you've got your uh, lyric sheet. You've also got what I assume to be some notes from the recording studio when they were putting the album together. Last two cuts, blah blah blah. blah. But uh, yeah, nice. Once again sounds absolutely fucking fantastic uh, I did have the the original release of this the uh, Music for Nations release uh, from 1984 in one of my videos there with Paul Gibbon in that collection video that I received but um, that was fantastic to pick up anything I'm sabotaged so um, guys get on to them straight away before they're gone I'm sure they'll be snapped up so that's pretty cool awesome two pickups there next up I picked up this um, it's an uh, it's a Anthrax 10th studio album, uh, Worship, Worship Music. Uh, this is actually very cheap on Amazon at the moment, so if you haven't got it for your collection, you, you do need to pick this up. This is amazing. This is the first comeback album by Anthrax since uh, We Come For You All in 2003. Uh, first album re feature Joey on vocals, Joey Belladonna, and I think it was the last album that Rob played guitar with them as well. Rob. Cagiano, don't fuck up his name of course, but um, comes on uh, from uh, Nuclear Blast, which Antrax are on now, uh, Gatefold, double album, I think it's just straightforward black vinyl, but this this is a fantastic comeback album, got the Antrax logo on the labels, which is pretty cool, uh, fantastic artwork again, uh, fantastic album, brilliant, brilliant comeback album, a couple of songs of this were out, uh, The Devil You Know, um, In The End, in the end, it's probably my favourite Antrax song at the moment. It's, it, it, them, them kind of things change, but it's it's just a fucking amazing song, an amazing video as well. Good tribute to uh, Dimebag and uh, Dio. Um, brilliant album, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant album. There's some great songs on this. Uh, Fight Until You Can't, another awesome track. But yeah, that was a great comeback. Well, if you want to call it a comeback album by Antrax. Just shows how good Antrax were and why they deserve their, their pedigree amongst the top. They're just a fucking great band. Good cheap album, get it lads, it's cheap. It's about 15 quid on um, Amazon. You need it, get it. Okay, up next, a bit more trash. Well, a bit more trash here. We have uh, the debut EP by uh, Space Chaser, the Capitron, you get the name of it right. Awesome, cool artwork. So this is a six track EP. There's a cover of uh, Aggressive Perfecto by Slayer on it as well. Uh, these are a great band, they just released their latest album, Give Us Life, uh, very recently there. Uh, I bought that too, haven't listened to it yet. So I just wanted to collect all their stuff. I don't think they have that many releases, four or five releases, and uh, maybe a split album as well. But um, this is great, this is the really old school, old school trash, good fast trash. It sounds a bit like old school Overkill or that, with the high pitched vocals and that as well. I don't know what the singer's name is on it, but um, as I say, yeah. This picture of the boys, nice colourful inner sleeve and a picture of the band. So they're German, the Siegfried Ru Ruzinski is the lead singer. And still, I don't know about all the rest of the members, if they're still in the band or not. But uh, I like this, this is good fun trash. Uh, lovely cool inner sleeve. I just nearly lost the vinyl there guys. So as you can see, it's on a slimy, ugly green vinyl. Um, drunken zombies killing spree. Just says it all trash hold, uh, total trash and disaster. So you can imagine what the lyrics are like. But uh, yeah, good fun, good EP. Definitely worth checking out Space Chairs if you haven't. The new stuff sounds pretty awesome. So that was another cool pickup. Okay, this is something I bought at a shop, a big shop in Lower Kenny. I did buy the Slayer color and um, what fucking album was it? Set of Heaven recently, and I bought another album of them. Seen this online. Wasn't sure of which sacrilege it was, and, and then when I got it, I noticed it was sacrilege, uh, sacrilege BC. So it's the American trash crossover hardcore punk, whichever way you want to put it. 
album. This is from um, 1980, 1986. So uh, yeah, so I bought this off that shop. Um, I hadn't, I didn't listen to it. I just it was a blind buy. But um, yeah, it's quite good. I mean, it's not my favorite album ever. But um, got your cool collage from back then. So as I say, it's trashy punk, hardcore stuff. Um, it's good. It's good. And this comes on Alchemy Records. So yeah, so it's an original release from 1986. So um, yeah, that was just interesting. Seeing on that shop locally, so I just bought it. So that was that. And um, yeah, just one more to show you. This is by um, Johansson. Yeah, this is 2018. Still looking for the date. So this is a bit of a death metal, kind of old school sound and death metal. So this is, um, these were new to me as well. It was the cover that attracted to me to it first. Absolutely love the artwork on the cover. So this is by Johansson and Speckman. Uh, the album's called From the Mouth of Madness. This is, uh, I didn't know until I bought it. So this is, I wanna get his first name right. The Johansson dude. Please be an inner slave in it. Or something, you know. It just comes in a black vinyl, so I'm not gonna bother it. So. Yeah, so there you go. This is um, the one-sided inner sleeve. So we've got uh, Rogar Johansson, who has actually uh, played in tons of death metal stuff. He's actually uh, a guitarist in, uh, sorry, in Massacre at the moment. So he's gonna be in the new Massacre album, Rogar Johansson. This is a project that these two guys have had for years. I think this is their fourth full length release in 2018 from this kind of a uh, death metal project they have. And it's also Paul Speckman is on it. You know Paul Speckman from Master, bass player vocalist with Master, among other bands as well. So yeah, this is a good solid enough album, yeah, but it's not very long. But as I say, it's just nice that Robert Johansson is actually the new uh, player on the guitar player on the, the new Massacre album. So that was pretty cool to find out that after I bought it. As I say, it wasn't a day or find or day or buy, it was another Amazon purchase. It's on Soul Seller Records. And then um, yeah, it's good. It's a good listen. It's a good listen. I might try to get some order stuff now as well. Like, you know, old school get metal. So there you go. Uh, Johansson and Speckman. Might be worth checking out. Man. Spotify is going to give a listen before you buy it. But um, that's it, lads. Yeah, it's just a few albums. I just wanted to show you the Sabotage albums because I was delighted that they came through the door and uh, got to spend them. They were great. So um, yeah, so that was uh, that was uh, episode 19. So that's it, guys. Short video. Um, Thanks everybody for subscribing, uh, subscribe, subscribe, the subscriptions are going up and it's great and uh, really enjoying the whole stuff. I uh, just want to give a shout out to uh, Rory from uh, Eternal Hellcorax, uh, local band, uh, black metal band from Calvin. Rory uh, was kind enough to give me a few uh, Eternal Hellcorax t-shirts so um, very cool, cheers Rory. Um, hoping to have Rory here and with me to do a video soon regarding the new Eternal Hellcorax albums, album, excuse me, which they're in the studio doing at the moment and he's also going to gonna talk vinyl when he is here so hopefully that's coming up soon on the channel so uh, that's it guys um stay safe and um i will chat to you all soon cheers good luck